What's up guys, it's me Enzo Lopez and I'm back playing Second Life, my favorite game these days and I spent so many hours on this game, it's ridiculous. This game has definitely got me hooked and from avatar customization to now I'm getting very much into building and in today's video I'll be showing you a little bit of a house tour of uh, one of the house projects that I'm working on with my partner. He gifted me uh, a Japanese house because he knows I'm very much into Japanese architecture, Japanese gardens and all of that stuff. But yeah, it's still in the works and we're s uh, yeah, there's a lot of vacant space out here. This is like two side-by-side -side parcels that he got for us. And yeah, that's the house over there. We plan to put some maybe uh, Zen gardens and fountains in the vacant spots. Yeah, I'm at the gate right now. It's a small gate. So that you can get to our parcels. One side is for my pap's garden or papillons. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but I'll show you my starter garden that I've been also working on. It's like one of my hobbies. Here we're at the entrance of the house. More bamboos that I put and stuff. That's the teleporter for the Pap's Garden. But yeah, I'll show you guys that later. And yeah, this is the exterior of the house. Very chill. There's a water pond with some lilies and some lotus flowers. Red and yellow trees, very fall or autumn. Yeah, I love this house. It's simple, it's small, but yeah, I'll show you guys the inside real soon. Yeah, this is the doorway. You can, the doors are like sliding doors too, which is pretty cool. I love that. <laughs> That's what I love about most with the Japanese gardens, really. Here is the little entrance way, like a, like a reception area kind of. And you, here we are at the, uh, like the the dining area really. There's a table, put on some food there for guests and stuff. Yeah, I love these lamps. Yeah, they, they have this beautiful, like, yellow light. I love the warm yellow light for this house. And that plant too over there, I really love that. But yeah, if you guys have any questions regarding which furniture or where I got some of the furniture, feel free to comment and stuff. And I'll, I'll tell you guys where we got them. But yeah, where my partner Brax, that's his name. where he got most of these furniture really because like he bought them all for for me <laughs> he's spoiling me too much i love him so much yeah he's sleeping right now another lamp over here painting on the hallway and there's a hallway here where you can peek outside to the um to the um the pond outside pretty chill but yeah before we go outside and stuff i wanted to show you guys the um the bathroom so here we are at the bathroom there's a tub with some rose petals very romantic relaxing this bathroom really Put some tiles on the wooden uh, floor that the house came in. We, this is like an extra room for the house. Uh, we decided to make the bathroom really. Some showers. But yeah, some candles over here. You can turn these candles on or off. 
can just leave the candles over there. There's incense by the window. Pretty relaxing, really. Alright, so moving on. Now let's go to the hallway and out to the uh, the deck area. It's really chill to just walk around here and stuff. These all these doors and stuff, they're like sliding doors, so you can go through all of them. But now I'll show you guys the oh, there's some lighting and some bit of like plants on the hallway. Now the the master bedroom, our bedroom. I love what we did here. It's a nice bed from I believe this is Zen Creations, and yeah. The other stuff we're decorating, um, I think, is from a furniture place called Akisha, Akisha Creations, or something like that. Yeah, put like a a row of bamboos over there. We can close all these doors really if we want some privacy for the room, but. This parcel is on private, really, so no one can really peek inside, but yeah. <laughs> I love this house so much. Very chill, very relaxing. We even play a, uh, like a, a very chill Japanese stream on this um, house, which I love. But yeah, the divider over there we put so that people at the dining area will be able to like peek through and stuff in the bedroom if ever someone's using the bedroom or we're using the bedroom or whatnot and yeah let's go outside um i put this like there's a walkway area here at the back which i can go to and yeah, this is like the edge really of the, the parcel. I terraformed the land a bit to create like a shore or like a beach. And yeah, you can walk in this pathway. Close the windows in the bathroom if you want some privacy. Not that we need <laughs> that really, but yeah. Just for aesthetic purposes, really. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I have a lot to work on, really. Like, there's so much space. We plan to put, like, a Japanese Zen garden. Like, a sand garden, maybe. And, like I said, some fountains. So, yeah. Now, I'll take you guys to my pop's garden. Which, uh, yeah. I showed you guys in the beginning. The teleporter to the garden. I think, yeah, this is it over here. Yeah. Let's go up to the Paps Garden. I have a lot of like papillons, and I'd like to thank a good friend of mine named Gar who gave who helped me start out my Paps Garden. But yeah, let's let them all res in. They use a lot of prims and resources, and yeah. I'll get to, to each of my uh, paps in a sec. So now we're here at my paps garden or my papillons garden guys and uh, yeah um, I have here this is called a cattail reed plant this one is um, uh, <laughs> a poppy plant I'm trying to get like the the biggest size I can get and different mutations of uh, each paps that I got. So this is a carrot, this I believe is a tulip, a rose, a glowy mushroom, daisies, uh, agave, or like uh, I think it's called uh, agave, a veggie or something like that. Uh, this is the um, if, uh, fiddler. 
these are some lilies and um, over here we have um, where are these things fronds yeah they're huge <laughs> but yeah more plants over on this side this is some alien plants oh some of my alien plants have had babies these are the babies here guys I'll try to zoom in to it yeah, they're very small yeah I can birth them and I'll see if they have a nice mutation that I don't have already I have a bunch of alien plants or alien flowers and yeah um, pretty neat I have bonsais here this one is called a uh, another veggie plant but looks like an alien plant too really creepy or odd looking some tentacles crystals over at the back and clusters in the front and magic circles the plants and crystals and all of that that I've shown you guys so far uh, they all just give birth on their own so uh, yeah they, they're asexual <laughs> yeah you just have to wait for them to yeah there's some babies over there from the circle over there it's really small I can birth that too which I will just to show you guys yeah put it over here click begin it's gonna start to uh, appear all right it's a giant circle it's not the biggest one the biggest one is a mondo circle or gargantuan circle if I'm not mistaken yeah let's leave that there for now and uh, here we have some of my my paps that 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 need both male and female to reproduce really some snails over here and over on the other side some turtles I was told by my friend Gar that they're new so I start uh, they asked me or he asked me rather to get them to start them to start reading them and stuff Here are the butterflies. I have so many. <laughs> All thanks to Gar. He gave me so many butterflies and they've just been birthing. I paired them and stuff, male and female butterflies. Oh yeah, some fireflies over here too and uh, these wisps over here. But yeah, they're not really, they don't really need male or female. These wisps, they just, they're ase asexual as well. Uh, yeah. Butterf more butterflies but yeah I just tend to the garden most of the stuff that I uh, I use HUDs to control the garden like uh, I use this HUD to check the stats and stuff on them but here the most important is the boosters that I put in the middle of the garden here some boosters which I don't know much about um, this is the moon pool in the center. That's where I do all of the enchantments and spells and stuff to boost my my garden. And that's it, basically. Um, yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my little Japanese house tour and my pap's garden tour. And yeah, um, I'll be back post to post more videos about Second Life. And I'll show you what other building projects and what I'm up to here on the game really and I'm excited and I hope to see you guys in game say hi to me if ever you play second life uh, that's my username is LRT there as you can see and yeah um, hope you guys keep safe and I'll talk to you guys next time bye